Yeah, yeah, yeah. So since God gave us this day, somebody said this day. Since God woke us up this morning, we ought to say thank you. I heard somebody say, thank you, Jesus. I got a right to praise the Lord. Thank you for waking me up. Thank you for starting me on another day. I thank you for putting food on my table. Thank God for putting clothes on my back. I thank God for life, health, and strength. I thank God for my family. I thank God for the house. I thank God for the air that I breathe. I thank God for allowing me to see the bright sun of shining day. I thank God. Been good. Here, the writer. His basic form of thanksgiving is his goodness and his mercy. Not only thanking God for what he's done, but God has been merciful unto us. Are y'all hearing what I'm saying? If it had not been for his grace and his mercy, where would we be today? We would be dead, sleeping in our grave. Am I right about it, somebody? Why you say that, preacher? Well, because the Bible says, for the wages of sin is death. We should have died a long time ago because we have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Yes, yes, yes. So, so therefore, we ought to thank God for his mercy. Two, two things, two things. Uh, yeah, 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 two things plus a million more, we really should be thankful for, and that is God's goodness to us all. Then God mercy unto us all. Oh, glory, how thankful I am for all that God has done for me. I, I, I give him glory for everything and just for his mercy. And my golden moment to roll on just a little while longer. Point number three, Sister Jonah, and I'm almost finished. Point number three is he redeemed me. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you. We have been redeemed. First Peter, the first chapter, verse 18 and 19, tell us, for as much as ye know that ye were not redeemed with corruptible things as silver and gold. Hello, somebody. I'm so glad that if, 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 if silver and gold had to make it, had to get me to heaven, I wouldn't make it. Are y'all hearing what I'm saying? From your vain conversation received by tradition from your father, but with the precious blood, somebody said, oh, the blood. Oh, the blood that saved me. What can wash away my sin? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. All the blood of Jesus that washed away my sin. But with the fresh blood of Christ as of a lamb without blemish and without spot. I'm so glad that I am redeemed. I've been bought with a price. Jesus has changed my whole life. I don't know about y'all, but Jesus has changed my whole life. When I was too scared to die and wasn't fit to live, Jesus hung up on Calvary and died for my sin. Therefore, I am redeemed. Yeah. So since you've been redeemed, you ought to say something. The Bible said, let them redeem of the Lord. Say so. I, I like the way that I like the way the songwriter say, say something. You ought, to, you ought to say something. If God has been good to you, you ought to say something. If God has done anything for you, you ought to say something. You ought to tell somebody about the goodness of the Lord. Yeah. Did I say good? Yeah. Help me somebody. I, Y'all might have to excuse me because when I think about God's goodness, you know, I, I get stuck sometimes. I get on rewind. Sometimes my 48 or my 78, you would get stuck and need 
the needle to be changed. Some of y'all older people might know they don't. They might not get stuff. They might not get strikes. So, but yet, but yet, when you talk about the goodness of the Lord, I get sidetracked. I, I think about all the things that God has done for me. Yeah. That lets me know that I got a right to praise the Lord. Yeah. In the text, in the text, verse three through six. The psalmist described the condition of the nation of Israel. God had gathered them uh, from their wandering from the east, from the west, from the north, and the south. And we all have been lost in our life. Am I right about it, somebody? Yes, but I'm so glad that God brought me back from a wandering state. Now, he don't talk about it. I talk about it early when we hungry. But God put food on our table. Yeah. That lets me know that God is able yeah. to make a way out of no way. What he put food on the table. The God that I serve, he's able. Yeah. God will feed you when you're hungry. Yeah. Comfort you when you're lonely. Yeah. Have you tried it? Yeah. Do you know he'll make it? Uh, All right. Is there anybody here that know that God is water when you're thirsty? He's a shelter in the time of a soul. Therefore, you got a right to praise the Lord. Point number three, and I'm, I'm just about to get out of here. Point number three, he brought me out of darkness. Good. Yeah. Brought me out of darkness. I never experienced that until back in 20, 2013 when we had that bad ice storm. Hello, somebody. I stayed out in the country and, and Jefferson elected they didn't, they didn't make me top priority. They didn't get to my house very soon, Sister Joan. When the ice fell and our life went out and we sat in dark. Ain't nothing like sitting in a cold house in the dark. Am I right about it, somebody? Yes, yes. I, I, I didn't, I didn't go get the kerosene, Sister John. Yes, I kept on procrastinating, and I kept saying I need to go get me some logs. I need to get me some firewood. But yet, but yet, but yet, I found myself sitting in dark. Look at the Bible. You, you still got the Bible open. No, I, don't, I don't want you to think I'm fooling you. Look at, look at verse 10 through 14. The Bible says in 10 through 14, it says, such as sit in darkness. Somebody says sit in darkness. And in the shadow of death. Somebody says shadow of death. Being bound in affliction and iron. Some people have been locked up, chained up, bound up. All because of the name of Jesus. But ever since Jesus has set me free, he that is free, the Son set free, is free indeed. Yeah. Verse 11 goes on and says, Because they rebelled against the words of God and condemned and contempt the counsel of the Most High. Verse 12 says, Therefore he broke down their heart. That lets me know if you get too high, God will bring you down. Am I right about somebody? So we as children of God got to learn how to be humble. No matter how much God blesses us, we, we must stay humble. Amen, somebody. The Bible goes on to say, it says, because they rebelled against the word of God and contempt the counsel of the most high, therefore he brought down their heart with labor. They fell down, and there was none to help. I don't know about Have you ever been in a situation, have you ever been in a place where it seems like you fell down, you didn't have a dime, you couldn't call on mama, you couldn't call on daddy, you couldn't call on your best friend, it seems like nobody wanted to help you, but oh, the name of Jesus, somebody said Jesus, there's power in the name of Jesus. Somebody said Jesus. 
There's healing in the name of Jesus. Somebody said Jesus. There's deliverance in the name of Oh, I wonder how he tried. I know that he'll make everything. All right. Verse 13 says, Then they cried. I cried. And I cried. I cried all night long. But my soul couldn't rest. Continue. Until I found the Lord. Sometimes, sometimes you go through things in life that seems like no one cares and you can't find no help. And you cry all night long. But I'm so glad that I serve a God that heard my cry and pitted my heavy bone. Long as I live, I'll taste them until it's wrong. Yeah. Man, I got a God that I'm to see about. Yeah. Wipe away all of my tears. Hello, somebody. Yeah. Verse 14 says that he saved you. Matter of fact, can I bag up? Back, back, can I bag up? Somebody said, rewind, I'm preaching. Look at verse 13. It says, then they cried unto the Lord in their trouble. Is there anybody here today? Have you ever been in trouble? Don't, don't fool me now. Y'all y'all all Christian. Y'all are church folks. Y'all saved, sanctified, Holy Ghost filled with a mighty bread of fire. Y'all ain't never been in no trouble. Hello, somebody. No, y'all got quiet. Somebody got quiet. Somebody, somebody, somebody here been through trouble. But aren't you so glad that trouble don't last? No way. Yeah. Why? Because God saved them out of the house. Oh, yeah. Know that God saved you and wisely kept you when danger was all around. Yeah. He brought me. Yeah, yeah. I can close my Bible, right? Yeah. Brought me from a mighty long way. Yeah. Verse 14 says, He brought them out of darkness. Yeah. Somebody ought to say, look where. Where? Where he brought me from. Yeah. Yeah, yes. For those of you who were born in the 60s and the 70s and, and the 50s and the 40s, you ought to look back yeah. and see where the Lord has brought you. Yeah. Ain't nothing wrong with you looking back. Hello, somebody. Just don't go back. Hello, somebody. Yes, yes. He brought them out of darkness into the marvelous light. Yeah. So therefore, we can say, look where he brought me from. I don't know about the true church, but I got a right to praise the Lord. Yes, yes. When, when I didn't have a God on my side, when I didn't have a heaven in my view, God was right there. That lets me know that I got a right praise to praise the Lord. The fact that a matter uh my show, come on, let's get on out of here. I don't know about you, but I got a right. I, I, I can't say what you got. Wow. I might not have money. I heard Paul and Silas say silver and gold yeah. have I none. But such as I have, give I thee. I got a right. To praise yeah. the Lord. Why you got a right to praise the Lord? Why well, God has blessed me. God has blessed me. He's been good. I told you he brought me from a mighty long ways. Therefore, I got a right to praise the Lord. Yeah. Not only that, but somebody said he kept me. Yes, yes, yes. 62 years. God has kept me. Even when I got people, sir. God has kept me. Yeah. Am I right about it, somebody? Yeah, the songwriter going on to say, when I think of the goodness of the Lord, I don't matter, somebody. Is there anybody here that know that God is good? On Monday. Oh, yes, oh, yes, he's good on Monday, but that's all right. Is there anybody here 
that know that God is good on you. Good. I want to say good on Sunday too. God is good. Somebody say good. Good, good, God Almighty. He's good on Monday. He's good on Tuesday. No one knows he's good on Wednesday. Shut up, shut up, shut up. But God gave me this blessing. 
to where I can talk. God gave me legs where I can walk. God gave me everything that I had. Therefore, when I look back over my life and I can see where God has grown, yeah. I got a right. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Foxes have hope. Birds have nests. Yeah. But the son of faith have nowhere to lay hate. Yeah. Pretty sure many of us been through the stage where we didn't have a place to have hate. Oh, let it be the name of the Lord. And if you had trouble, try it. Tribulation. 